The diagram below shows the graph of the function y is equal to x squared, where x is greater than 0. So this is a graph of y is equal to x squared. This is a graph of y is equal to x squared. Okay. Now, the shaded region between the curve, that this curve, the x-axis, this is the x-axis, and between x is equal to m, so this is x is equal to m, and x is equal to m plus 2, has an area of 5 and 1 6 units. So this area is 5 and 1 6 units squared. So the question is, what's the value of m? Okay, so to find the area, we use integration. So we can say the area or the shaded area is integration or definite integration from m to m plus 2 of x squared dx. Okay, actually, uh, just to give you an intuition of how area is calculated is uh, you imagine uh, that this, you imagine a slit, a infinitesimally small slit, okay? Say this is a slit or this is a thin rectangle, okay, where the width is dx, your width is dx and your height is y. So area of this rectangle or this infinitesimally thin rectangle would be uh, y times dx, okay? y times dx, and what is y? y is x squared, so that is x squared dx. That is area of that infinitesimally small rectangle. And if you add all the infinitesimally, rect infinitesimally small rectangle from m to m plus 2, you get the area of this shaded uh, region. And that's what we do by doing the integration from m to m squared. So basically what we are doing is we are adding up all the infinitesimally small rectangles from m to m plus 2 by taking integration. So integration is nothing but a form of addition. Okay, so this is also can be seen as a letter S. Okay, uh, integration has, uh, can also be treated as summation, okay, or addition. So this is integration of x squared is x cubed over 3. So this is x cubed over 3 and the lower bound is from m to m plus 2. And we know that the area is 5 and 1 sixth, 5 and 1 sixth. So this is 31 over 6 is equal to, now you have to substitute m plus 2 and m in this. So this will become m plus 2, the whole cube over 3, minus m cube over 3. So what we have done is we have substituted m, which this is called the upper bound, and this is called the lower bound. So you first substitute m plus 2 and then take away. So basically, you, if you want to understand that, how why do we take away? When you do, uh, when you find, when you put m plus 2 uh, in place of x, we are finding the area from year to year. Okay, I, and I don't have time. So it's the area from 0 to m plus 2. And when you're doing this, when you're substituting m, you're finding this area. And that's why you take away this area. Okay. So this is, uh, so I can take the one third out. So this is 31 over 6 is equal to one third. If you factor out, it is m plus 2 cubed minus m cubed. So let us x multiply both sides by 3 or cross multiply 3. So this is 31 times 3 over 6 is equal to m plus 2 times m plus 2 squared minus m cubed. Okay, so this is nothing but 31 over 2. 3 goes in 6 2 times. So this is m plus 2 times this is m squared plus 4m plus 4 minus m cubed. Okay, so this becomes 31 over 2. So expanding this becomes m cubed 
plus 4m squared plus 4m then expanding with 2 you get 2m squared plus uh, 8m plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 minus m cube so this m cube will get cancelled with this m cube so therefore this is 31 over 2 is equal to 4 uh, 4 plus 2 is 6 m squared I want to do without the calculator plus 12 m plus 8 I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2 so this is 31 is equal to 12 m squared plus 24m plus 16. Now taking away 31 from both sides, you get 12m squared plus 24m plus 16 minus 31. Okay, so this becomes 12m squared plus 24m minus 15 is equal to 0. I can factor out a 3 or divide all by 3. You get, uh, you get, if you divide all by 3, this is 4m squared plus 6m minus 5 is equal to 0. So the two factors, it has to, it, I'll try this. There are different ways of doing this. So to get 4m squared, I have to have, you can have 2m and 2m or 4m and 1, 4m and m, I'm trying with 4m, 2m and m. I want minus 5, so I have to, I'll take minus 1 here and plus 5. So does it work? This 2 gives me minus 2m and this gives me 10m, okay? Uh, so, so this should be 8m. And dividing by 3, this should be 8m. And it does make sense. So this is 10m minus 2m is 8m. And this is 2m squared and minus 5. So you can say 2m minus 1 is 0 or 2m plus 5 is 0. This implies m is equal to half or m is equal to minus 5 over 2. But m is greater than, but m should be greater than 0, which implies m is not minus 5 over 2. Therefore, m is half. So this is our answer, but we need to check our answer. So this implies m plus 2 is half plus 2, which is 2 and a half, which is 2.5. So we're going to use a calculator to check whether this will work. So you go to your run menu, oops, and then you go to option calculus integration x squared comma 0.5 comma 2.5. And this is 5 and 1 sixth, okay, just to show you 5 plus 1 divided by 6 gives you the same number. So our answer is right. So M is 0.5.